Hi everyone, welcome back. I truly don't know what the last clip was. Probably a little bit of the event with Billy Ray Belcourt. Yeah. Um, also, that I... My neighbors are so loud. They're literally like yelling. <laughs> Anyways, the last thing I probably showed was the event with Billy Ray Belcourt, which is the event that I met Iggy at. Hey, Iggs. Um, that was so much fun. Billy Ray was amazing. There's like a weird glare over here. Yeah, I don't really know. I'm filming at the end of my workday, so I'm a little bit tired. My brain's a little bit all over the place. The sun is setting and it's doing like a weird flare light thing. I don't know. I just really wanted to get this video out before I procrastinated too much. But I have some recent reads for you guys. These are the books that I read in the month of May. Yeah, I was unemployed for <laughs> the month of May. So I did get a lot of reading done. Not as much as I thought I would um, for being a person that didn't have much to do all day, but still a good chunk. I'm gonna go through these books really quickly, maybe like a quick little synopsis about them and then my thoughts and feelings. But your girl's employed now. I didn't get a bookstore job like I was hoping that I would, but still at a place that I'm really excited about. It's really cute, I'm really excited to start. I am not working with kids, which is the one thing that I didn't want to fall back on and doing. Um, love them, but I had eight years of that and I just want to move on to something else and that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, new things on the horizon. Yeah, back to the books. The event that I went to at Emily Carr University, it was hosted by Massey Books, which is a bookshop here in Vancouver. It was for this book, it was for Billy Ray Belcourt's Coexistence Stories. So this is a book of short stories, um, Billy Ray Bell Belcourt is an indigenous queer author, poet, writer. It was so incredible. That talk that he did was so compelling and emotional and touching on queerness and what does what's home and so many amazing things. Really enjoy that event. This book was really good. It's really short, short and sweet. If you haven't read any of Billy Ray's work before, I suggest you do. I liked um what was the book before a minor course? I think it's like a brief history of my body. Um, I will insert the picture of the book somewhere. Um, also this leaf. My roommate changed out the plant that we have in the corner and it's just, it's blossoming, it's blooming. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's that on that. It was great, would recommend. If you could see Billy Ray speak in person, I highly suggest you do. Him and his friend group seem so incredible. Um, they just seem like a jolly queer time. And yeah, what more could you ask for, right? <laughs> Another book that I read was this book called... Also, if you're hearing... Um, I hope my phone doesn't pick up on this, but... I obviously lived in a I live in a shared space and I live in a house where there are many other um, people living here. So I kind of hope you don't hear that, but if you do, just, it's fine. Uh, so this book is called There Are More Beautiful Things Than Beyonce by Morgan Parker. I might've talked about this in maybe two videos ago. Uh, my friend from New York, uh, Victoria, she came to visit and she gave me this book to read. I keep saying like book, like it's like a novel, but it's a book of poems. Uh, it's a poetry book. And woo, there were some good fire poems in here. I really didn't think this video through. I'm kind of just, you know, I was done work and I was like, let me just get on the camera and talk to my friends. I'm not going to read from this actually. <laughs> I'm too tired too, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, stunning cover, stunning, beautiful cover. Yeah, I love women. Anyways, uh, then this next book, Perfume and Pain, was given to me by uh, Simon & Schuster. Uh, it came out in May on the 21st. Loved this, loved this book. Honestly, such a memorable book unreliable narrator, queer, lesbian drama, 
writer. Yeah, really, really enjoyed this. The premise is this author, oops, <laughs> this author, author finds herself unable to write a new book. So she joins this online group called the Sapphic Scribes. It's um, a writer's group on Zoom and there she meets someone and then chaos ensues. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was such a romp. It was such a fun time. Uh, crazy fun adventure. Yeah, really enjoyed that. Speaking about a book that wasn't maybe such a fun time was this uh, Death Valley by Melissa Broder. I know Iggy talked about this being a big flop for her. I found it okay. Um, there were parts of it that I thought would really, that I would really eat up and it would do really well. Um, but yeah, it kind of just fell flat for me too. I think The Pisces is my favorite Melissa Broder book that I've read that thus far. I've read, as so far I've read Death Valley, The Pisces, Milk Fed, and So Sad Today. And out of all of those, I think The Pisces is up there. And then I would put Milk Fed and then Death Valley and then So Sad Today. But So Sad Today was more like an essay collection than a novel. But yeah, this was fine. I read it, I enjoyed it, I didn't like love it, and I also like didn't hate it. There were parts of it I thought were really good, and then um, most of it just fell flat, honestly. But yep, there's that. And then I read, this is in no particular order by the way, um, I read my signed, thank you Zoe, um, hee hee, um, yeah, my signed book of There's Always This Year on Basketball and Ascension by Hanif Adurahib. What can I say about Hanif that already hasn't been said? My book bestie Zoe is absolutely in love with Hanif as everyone else should be. He is brilliant, funny, knows so much about pop culture, is such a great poet, writer, speaker. I wish I could have gone to the event that they all went to. This book was really good. I know nothing about basketball really um my mom is a big fan of basketball surprisingly the wnba apparently toronto bought a team or like has rights to a team that i think is going to do a rollout in 2025 or something like that which is exciting i will be paying attention to that because i love me some women's sports because i love women um but yeah other than that, I really don't know a lot about basketball. This is kind of a biography of sorts. It talks about basketball and Hanif's life. So many of his life experiences. Whoa, there were things in here that I didn't really like know or expect of him. I don't really know much about Hanif other than his like literary career and his online presence. But yeah, this was really good. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy his writing. I enjoy Hanif as a person. And this last book is called If an Egyptian Cannot Speak English by Nornaga. This book was going, made its rounds, I feel like maybe earlier this year or maybe last year. I know it was like put up for a bunch of awards, Canadian awards. Whoa, this book, whoa. Why was I so late to the game on this? Uh, the ending? I really enjoyed the flipping like narrations um between the two characters this is about an egyptian girl who grew up in america who then goes back to egypt and she meets someone and things happen and yeah uh this whoa um there maybe are some things in here that might not be suitable for everybody to read as always check Trigger warnings, this has to do a lot with maybe not the healthiest of relationships, romantic relationships. So if that is a trigger for you, maybe don't read it, but um, if you can handle it, I do suggest it. This was a really good book. So these are all the books that I read this month. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six wonderful books, another month another stack. So let me know in the comments below what are books that you've read this month that you've enjoyed. What are you looking forward to reading? Um, June is Pride Month. Maybe I should put together a video of some of my fave queer reads or books written by queer authors that I really enjoy. Yeah, how are y'all gonna celebrate your pride this month? <laughs> 
It's looking so cheesy. Oh my god. I hope you guys are good. I hope this summer is great for y'all. Um, yeah, I have some videos I want to put out for you guys. I just have to find the time now because I'm working um, to figure that out. But I will and I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, I'll go now. Bye! <laughs>